Hello, hello, I am back in the car. That means it's Blue Lie, day 26. I am now going to the parental's house because it is time. Well, let's see here. Ah, this is the Dragon House logo. So sad, they closed. Hmm. But I am doing some t-shirt delivery because my dad had ordered a t-shirt and I just saw Pete, the old owner, um, and talk to my dad he is on I think he's on his way back to his house so I'm gonna go drop this off on my way home and maybe I'll see my mother too I'm gonna give her a call see if she's at home and uh, go say hello so maybe you'll see them on the vlog maybe not but I will film something later so stay tuned well hello I am back home just took the doodle dog on a walk I'm hot he's hot hold on let me show you I hope you guys can see him yep He's just chilling on the hard floor. Um, went to dinner with my parents. We went to Coburn's Deli, which is actually a grocery store that I'm gonna be going to tomorrow. So I am making my Coburn's list because they sent penny pincher coupons. So I'm gonna work off the coupons. So I am currently making a list right now. Doyle cheese and milk are the only things on my list, but I'm gonna add all the coupon things and then kind of think about you know, what I want for like a meal plan kind of a situation. Plus I have Olivia coming to stay this weekend. So I wanna make sure that I have apples for her because I know she likes the apples. Um, I've got like one apple left, but that might actually be gone by Saturday. I wanna make sure I'm fully stocked for Miss Olivia. But anyway, just got home. Oh, I am so hot. Like it's not really that hot outside. It's just like kind of humid and anyway. Just gross, you know, just gross. But had a good time with my parents. We just kind of hung out and chatted. My dad liked his shirt. Actually, the shirt isn't really for him. It's for my uncle, my dad's brother. So I guess it's going to him instead. I thought it was for my dad, but apparently it's for my uncle Jim. But yeah, now I'm just hanging out here. I'm debating if I want to film my Financial Friday video today, but I kind of want to do it tomorrow. I know it's kind of cutting it close, but I kinda don't care. I mean, I care, don't get me wrong, like I care. But I think tonight I'm just gonna like take the night off and just chill out. And I think the vlog's actually gonna be pretty short today too because I don't really have much to talk about. Um, work was work, which is fine. I kinda ran around all morning and then got back to the office about 12, 30, one, somewhere in there. Um, did all the other things I needed to do and then I left at my usual time, which is after I'm supposed to leave. My boss is actually out of town. Uh, he left uh, this morning, so he was in the office for just like a little bit. And then he is out of town um, Thursday, Friday, which will be nice because I can actually get a lot of stuff done while he's gone, which is good. Um, I pretty much got everything done that I need to get done besides like follow up calls and emails and stuff for the next couple of days, but that's like, my normal thing anyways but when he's not there it actually makes my life a whole lot easier because i can get stuff done and like focus on a project versus getting phone calls from him every hour on the hour with other things to do while i'm doing other things and it just completely derails whatever i'm trying to accomplish so anyways i mean it's fine it's just it is what it is it's the construction world so what do i expect you know but um it's very difficult to focus on like one task or two tasks. So my task tomorrow is to clean off my desk. And you guys would think I'm like really neat and organized at work and oh my God, I am not at work because there is so much paperwork. It is ridiculous. Like there's so many scraps of paper I need to hold on to for like job costing and figuring out the bottom line and like all of that and it's not digitized anything isn't i've been trying to get my boss to go like to a digital format where i can just scan the documents and put them in a file and he doesn't want to do that so i am tasked with keeping every last receipt and scrap of paper that involves a job cost so yeah it's kind of a pain in the ass but i am going to clean off my desk tomorrow which will be very exciting and then um if I get some time, I'm actually gonna do some job costing for some jobs that have already closed out. So 
that'll be good. And then he'll be excited if he comes back and I have a couple of job costings done. But that's the magic of what can happen if Emily gets to focus and not run around and be a construction worker. <laughs> so anyway, um, but yeah, that's it for right now. I'll vlog a little bit later, but I'm gonna finish out my grocery list and then um, I'll show you what I get for groceries tomorrow. So don't worry, I'll show you because that's probably gonna be the only content I'll have for my vlog tomorrow because I'll do my uh, budget tomorrow as well. But anyway, I'm gonna sign off for right this second, but I will see you guys in just a moment. So it's been a little bit and I got my first Nordstrom sale delivery and I'm wearing them. These are Zella leggings. I will show you what they are. Give me just a second to pull up Nordstrom. I'm legit buying another pair and I'm gonna show you who turned me on to these. This is her website. Um, it's kellynan.com. I will put it down below, but this is who she is. I have been following her on Instagram for quite a while. She has amazing home decor posts and things like that. And um, she's been talking about the Nordstrom anniversary sale a lot, especially on her like Instagram stories. And we've had some conversations back and forth, like privately. She was telling me how much she loved these Zella leggings. And I told her I was kind of on the fence about them. And then I decided to buy them and they shipped out like super fast. And they're true to size. I am a size extra large and they fit like a freaking glove. And they're high waist leggings. So they like, suck in just enough of the tummy um, to feel secure, but still feel like soft and comfortable, you know, like you can move in them. And they have like major butt lifting situations. So let me show you, like I legit already added one to my bag, like I'm going to check out. So let me turn you around, show you what I'm gonna get. So these are the leggings. Oh, those are not the leggings I'm currently wearing, sorry. Okay, these are the leggings that I am currently wearing. It's the Zella Live In High Waist Leggings, extra large. They are on sale right now for $35.90, and after the sale, they go back to regular price at $54. So I'm definitely gonna get those. And let me show you, because these are just like plain black leggings, like you literally can't go wrong. And let me show you these ones. Since the Zella ones were like such a freaking hit, actually, I'll show you these in this like graphite color because you can see it a little bit better. But these are the Autumn High Waist Moto Ankle Leggings, $49.90 originally, $75. But I thought these would be really cute too. Um, they're the high waist, so like the same, basically the same, except for they've got like the little cutouts here and then on the back of the calf, it also has a little bit of a mesh there. But I thought these would be cute for just like bumming around, you know? Like here's the back side. Um, so you can kind of see like the little calf right there, but I don't know. I mean, I kind of, I kind of digging it. It's so hard to see that, but it's got like the little ripples there. I don't know. I think I'm going to get these two because, um, the nice thing about Nordstrom.com is that they are, um, free shipping and free returns. So if for some reason I don't like them or they just look really funny on me, which they might, I don't know. Um, I can return them, like, no harm, no fall, you know what I'm saying? So, I actually um, read Kelly's blog post a while ago when she was talking about um, all the things she was keeping and stuff, and she did write that the Zella leggings were worth having, like, multiple pairs of whatever style you like, and she got the crop ones, which I think I bought cropped ones as well, if I remember right. Let me check. I am gonna be doing a haul on my channel. This is like the one time a year I kind of go like crazy. Oh yeah, I did buy the cropped ones as well. And they're also the high waist, so it's like the same cut or whatever, but just cropped leggings. This is like the one time a year I kind of go a little bit nuts. Last year, I didn't go that nuts. Like I only got like four or five things. And this year I got like a lot of things, but I don't really buy clothes like ever. And Nordstrom has great quality and I can guarantee that I am not going to keep everything. Like there's just no way I'm going to be able to keep everything because there is a chance that some things aren't gonna fit or look right or feel right or I'm gonna see them in person and go, oh, I don't like that. And if I don't like it, I'm not gonna keep it. I'm gonna wait for everything to come in because everything's coming in like on different days or whatever. Um, I'll keep my packing slip, which is in that box right behind me, which is what the leggings came in. Oh my God, but these are like buttery soft. And um, I know 
Kelly has said this and then also um, Jennifer Ross from Pretty Neat Living. I think she got another pair of Zella leggings too and she got Zella leggings last year and she said that they wash up really well. So I'm really hoping that they do and hold up really nicely but they are just so comfortable. Like I could wear these to work with like a really nice like a top and some cute shoes or some cute boots and like it's just it's just worth it when you've got like good thick leggings and you they're not see-through so that's a definite plus i think i'm gonna go ahead and order those other ones and i've gotten a few comments about spending money i'm just gonna say this as like a blanket statement i budget out for things obviously my budget gives me permission to spend as you guys know honestly what i do with my money is my own business just like what you do with your money is your own business and yes i am buying a lot of home things because i just bought a house but i save for this house for a really long time and trust me I am nowhere near depleting savings or any of that kind of stuff that would not be responsible and that's just not me but even if I did do that that would be you know my business I guess there is gonna be a clothing haul coming up very soon which is gonna seem very extravagant to a lot of you guys but when you understand that I literally have not purchased any clothes in the longest time I mean I may have bought like a top at Target for like 12 bucks I mean maybe in the last 12 months um I I don't I don't know what to tell you so I am not a person that goes and buys something once a month just to make myself feel better or not that there's anything wrong with that I just don't really enjoy shopping that much I mean I used to really enjoy it when I was like younger but I think that's just because it was just more of a social thing and now I'm like get in get out you know what I'm saying when you've got good deals with good quality things and really not really any risk because I can buy it and then if I don't like it that's okay because it's free shipping and free returns so this is so not sponsored by the way because I know I'm gonna get those questions no this is not sponsored I am not a fashion blogger so this is not a sponsor video at all I just love Nordstrom and I actually love Nordstrom rack by the way but again that's one of those things where I have to like look through everything and I just don't I don't have the patience <laughs> it's like I just don't have the patience but um, there's some really cool things coming some things I'm really excited about there are some things I'm kind of on the fence about but um, I'm just I'm really excited to see them when they come in and just to like see if they fit or if they feel good and all of that but I will show you everything I get in hopefully the next couple of weeks I hope I think that there's a couple of items that might be coming towards the end of next month because they were kind of back ordered but um, I want to get everything and then show you guys because obviously it's not a sponsored video so it doesn't need to like go up or anything I'm just doing it because I like to show you guys my hauls people are always very interested in like what I'm wearing like right now I'm wearing a LuLaRoe top and then I've got my Zella leggings which are amazing oh they just they feel like it feels so good you know um, very different than the LuLaRoe leggings. LuLaRoe leggings are like very, like, loose, if that makes sense. In a good way, they're like really loose on the sides, but like this, like, it's like tight and it like, it sucks you in really nicely. Like in the best way sucking you in, but also not cutting off your circulation sucking in. So, I don't know, I really like them. I'm gonna get another pair right now. And um, the sale will still, I think the sale is still going on until like, I don't know, let me, let me check really quick. I think it's going on until the first part of August. Let's take a look. Yeah, August 6th is when the sale ends. So they go up on the 7th. Like they just go back up to normal price. It's like fall stuff. So um, I'll leave the um, a Nordstrom link below and I'll just write in like which leggings I got. There is, they're not out of any sizes, I don't think, in these Zella leggings that I'm getting. They did have quite an abundance of them. I know a lot of the other things that I purchased and things I was just looking at had sold out before I even got a chance to um, take a look at some of the items. I am gonna go because I am going to order these things and then wait for my packages to arrive. Oh, and I'm so excited about these leggings. I think I'm gonna wear, I might wear these leggings tomorrow to work. I might do it. I usually wear leggings to work anyways in the fall, like fall and spring, because it's just nice to do that. Oh, and summer, obviously I'm in summer right now. But in the winter I wear like a thicker, um, a thicker pant because it's just, it's so freaking cold in Minnesota. 
but oh, I love these. I love these so much. I want all the pairs, but I'm only gonna get two of the regular ones, and then I'm gonna try on those moto leggings. See if those look cute. Who knows, maybe they will look horrible, but we'll, we'll find out together, I guess. Time to focus, camera. Come on, you can do it. I have faith in you. Ah, so finally I grab a drink and it focuses. Good job, camera. All right, so it's about nine o'clock. It is time to start attempting to get ready for bed. I need to bring my packing slip up stairs. Actually, no, I don't need this at all because I'm keeping them, so yeah. All right, cool. Well, let's go upstairs. I thought maybe, um, the Nordstrom packing slip would have the prices on them, but they don't, so that's all right. I have the email and I've been like compiling a list of the things that I have purchased, you know? So, you will see that video soonish. I would say hopefully by the end of um, this upcoming month in August. Oh, really, Doyle? Oh, really? Okay, hold on, let's, let's see what the dog is doing. So I just come upstairs to the guest room, and this is where I find the dog staking his claim on the guest bed. You know Olivia's coming to stay this weekend, right? This isn't your bed. I know, it's not your bed, bud. It's not your bed. I know, it's really sad, huh? So sad, buddy. These are the pillows I got the other day. Let's see. They are the... Tahari Home Won't Go Flat Pillow Two Pack Standard. So these are gonna be like wrapped up in the white, you know, sheets or whatever. I just haven't dealt with that yet. And then the duvet cover is there, the dog is there, <laughs> but the actual duvet is in the closet over yonder here. And okay, so, all right, there is a mirror right there. So here's the deal, let me take these off. Maybe you guys can help with this because you guys are always like super helpful. All right, so I was in here with my mom and I'm gonna put a little side table over here and a little side table over here. However, because of this door and it's swinging that way, I can't really center this bed on the wall. And the, the wall, the not the wall, the bed isn't centered right now anyways, but I'm gonna have to move it over a little bit anywho. But, this wall is like huge and this headboard is like kind of short for the scale of the wall like it's pretty high and my mom was thinking put that mirror like in the center like right in the middle here and then I have two of them actually and then put the other one on this wall but I was kind of thinking, I mean, I like the design of that, but I feel like square isn't right with these like, I don't know, like little points, you know what I mean? And I don't know what would look good there. I was actually over at that at-home place uh, yesterday, and I saw a really cute like sunburst mirror that had kind of like, um, obviously there was a mirror in the center and it had like staggered, you know, sunbursts around it and I thought that might look kind of cool. I just feel like the square is like just too, I don't want to say uniform, but it just, it feels like it's fighting a little bit. You know what I mean? Is that weird? And my mom was saying, hold on, we'll go into my room now. She's like, you need something like your mirrors in here, which I kind of agree, but I like my mirrors in here and I don't want to really change them, you know? I don't know. Unless you guys think it would be a good idea to switch these mirrors, put them in here, maybe? I don't know, but I feel like it's too much of the same. I don't know. What do you think, Doyle? What do you think, huh? What did you do to this? Oh, it's just wet. You're licking your paws. You're so gross. I'm gonna have to wash this again. Doodle. He just sits and licks his paw. Lick the paw, lick the paw. You're so gross. You're so disgusting, Doyle. You're so nasty. But anyways, if you guys have suggestions on what I should do with this wall, let me know. 
Also, give me suggestions on what I should do with this dog. Let me know. Just, can you get down? Criminy. And then also, okay, so I've got this wall, which is whatever. But then this wall is like absolutely nothing over here. And this is the like, you know, when you walk in, this is like this whole huge blank wall. So I don't know what to do with it. I don't know. But there's not a ton of like, I mean, there's walkway space, don't get me wrong, but there's not a ton, so I can't like put any like furniture or anything in here, but I figured it'd be cool to put something on the wall, but I don't, I don't know. And when I was at that at-home place the other day, like, I really liked that sunburst mirror thing, but I just felt like I wasn't 100% sure, and I think it was like $59.99, so it wasn't like break the bank expensive, but obviously I've got more than enough time to just buy what I wanna buy and um, take my time with this room and make sure it's right. Like I even put in like two lamps in my cart and then I took them out. Cause I was like, well, I'm just buying stuff to buy stuff now. Like I don't, I don't want that. So I think what I'm going to do is when I get my side tables for here, which I'm just gonna look at like home goods and Marshalls and stuff, and I'll end up finding something at some point. I think what I'm going to do is take the lamps that are in my room, again, going over to the crickets again, take these lamps, ta-da, and um, these are from Target, and I think I might upgrade the lamps in here in my room, because these are pretty basic, and put them in here, because I feel like with this headboard, you gotta have something kind of basic next to it. You know what I'm saying? And then um, my headboard is like, sorry, I hope I'm not making you guys dizzy, but my headboard, sorry for like the mess, um, my headboard is pretty basic and I feel like you could do something kind of fun with the lamps and I think if I do like a fun lamp that's like more of a, like a porcelain base that I can put those mirrors up. You know what I mean? I don't know. I hope I'm making sense. I just feel like I'm rambling on now. So, ugh. all right, well, I am gonna go for now. If you guys have suggestions, let me know in the comments below. Doyle and I are gonna go. It's time to get ready for bed. And I am in love with these leggings. I've been wearing them for hours now. They're so freaking comfortable. And um, I did purchase more, so I mean, but I already told you guys that, so. I need to stop repeating myself, like, for realsies. Okay. Hats going away. All right, well, I am gonna get going and I will see you guys tomorrow for the next Vlulai. 